Germany has just sent its first woman astronaut into space. She and three other astronauts are on a SpaceX rocket for a four-day mission. To get us the details, DW's correspondent Emily Leshner is joining me from Berlin. Emily, good to see you. Tell us a little about the flight and who's on board. Well, the mission is also making another historical first uh, for the first time in space travel history. The rocket will orbit the Earth from one pole to the other. And this is an orbit that is generally avoided because it requires a lot more energy and there is radiation risk. Uh, but this trip is short enough that radiation will not be a cause for concern for the crew. And this pole to pole trip is also part of how the mission uh, Fram 2, the flight, got its name Fram 1 was a 19th century Norwegian polar research vessel. So the name is a nod to that vessel. And the crew is planning on conducting uh, around 20, uh, slightly over 20 scientific studies. They'll take the first x-ray in space. They'll also cultivate mushrooms in a gravity-free environment. And when the crew comes back to Earth, they'll attempt to do basic tasks uh, without the typical medical assistance just to see how, how they're faring. Also, what is their mission? What are they hoping to learn from this flight? There are four people on this board, one of whom, as you mentioned, is making history as the first German woman in space. Her name is Rabea Hoge, and she is a 29-year-old from Berlin. She studied electrical engineering and is taking on the role on this flight of scientific specialist. And along with her is a Norwegian filmmaker, as well as an Australian uh, polar explorer and guide, and the Chinese-born billionaire named Chun Wang, who is funding the trip. He actually uh, met met Roga during a training in the past, asked if she would be interested in coming on board, provided that he fully fund her trip. She agreed. And so here we are today. You know, it seems like these days we are hearing more and more about astronauts going to space in private rockets. And I want to ask you this. Are the days of government funded space travel over? Are we shifting to a time when space travel is driven by private companies and investors? There certainly has been a shift since about the 2010s uh, from government funded space travel towards travel that's funded uh, by private companies and investors. This flight in particular is being operated by SpaceX, Elon Musk's company. Last year, SpaceX alone launched more than 100 rockets. And Musk is just one of a number of billionaires who've set their sights on space travel. There have certainly been benefits uh, to this shift in terms of driving investment, reducing launch costs and, and generating excitement uh, for the future of space travel. Even Olga uh, remarked how this trip is helping make space travel more accessible and less exclusive than it used to be. Of course, there are also criticisms that, that come along with this increase in privately funded travel. Uh, there's a lot more space debris and, and NASA does believe that the uptick in travel can, can be helping erode the Earth's uh, ozone layer, but there definitely has been a shift in more privately funded space travel since, yeah, I would say in the last 15 years or so. All right, that's very interesting. Emily, thank you so much for joining me from Berlin.